The state budget is closer to being wrapped up, with some bills still waiting to be passed. One of the measures included in the budget, allowing movie theaters to sell liquor and continuing to allow bars and restaurants to sell alcohol on the go. Gio Battaglia spoke to two Rochester movie theaters and joins us in studio now. Gio. Hey Dan, most New York movie theaters are currently only allowed to sell beer and wine, but staff at Rochester theaters say, the new legislation to add liquor would also bring new opportunities to the mix. It's exciting and it's nice to see uh, the state thinking about independent movie theaters and how, you know, we can be helped out, how we can help the community. Scott Pukos with the Little Theater on East Avenue told me while it does have a selection of alcohol for sale, having a wider selection could allow for more creativity. Anytime like something like that is added, if, if we're able to serve liquor, it allows us, one, for creativity. I think you can come up with cocktails and pair them to different movies. Uh, an example of that was Barbie was the huge movie last year. You can come up with a fun cocktail to surf with that. Other Rochester movie theaters like Rock Cinema on South Clinton Avenue owned by Christina Dino Jeffords is ahead of the game. When we first opened and we rebranded uh, the original cinema theater to Rock Cinema, um, we knew the cinema industry was a changing industry and we knew in order to survive uh, in this you know, climate that we were going to have to do something different. That's why we came up with the idea of doing a dine-in movie theater with a full bar and a full kitchen. Um, we were the first one in Rochester. Um, we pride ourselves on that. Danino Jeffords also owns the Mad Hatter restaurant and bakery on Park Avenue, which serves to-go mimosas. She's been part of the encouragement of legislation to pass the first bill to allow alcohol to go and is happy to see it proposed to be extended for the next five years. I think it's definitely something that's needed and it's just a nice little added revenue and a nice little perk to have for somebody that's enjoying a meal and taking it home to add on a cocktail. Restaurants and movie theaters alike, business owners hope if the legislation passes, it will help them continue to thrive. We welcome everybody else to the club. Um, I feel like we we want to make the cinema experience stay alive. We don't want that to go away. We want all these small little theaters throughout U.S. to stay alive. And Scott with the Little Theater told me if this does pass, it will be a while before the theater starts serving liquor as it will await its liquor license. And while they wait, Puko says they will continue to make fun drinks for special screenings with punch as the mix.